bull terrier versus pit bull, you either love one or love both. Even the most avid pet lovers cannot help but to be confused between the bull terrier and pit bull. The American bully or pit bull has become very popular all over the United States. Many people usually lump these two together as one in a category when the truth is there are clear and definite differences that even the most average person will be able to pinpoint if they have a bit of information on them. To finally put an ambiguity on bull terrier versus pit bull, here is a quick rundown of their similarities and differences. The head. The pit bull has a large and broad head which does not have a disproportionate size if you compare it to the overall size of its limbs and body. Pit bulls have a deep yet well-defined moderate stop. They also have deep and clean flues. Their cheek muscles are also prominent and free from wrinkles. Their muzzle is shorter than their skull which looks broad and blocks with the top muzzle that is straight while the lower jaw is wide, deep and properly developed. A pit bull has large and well-opened nostrils with pigments of any color which are often harmonious to the coat color. On the other than, the head of a bull terrier has a shape of a broad but blunt edge once viewed at the front. This dog's muzzle and skull are parallel to one another when you view him from the side. You can expect a slightly but well-defined stop, giving the impression of great power because of its broadness or largeness and being proportionate in size when compared to the size of its body. The bull terrier's overall head creates the impression of a properly chiseled form that has elegance, strength, and character. Their eyes have superorbital arches that are well-defined but not too pronounced. The muzzle of a bull terrier is shorter compared to the skull with a deep and broad form that tapers a bit from the stop up to the nose. Their cheeks are also prominent and wrinkle-free. Wrinkles are formed on their forehead every time the bull terrier is concentrating. The body. The pit bull has a deep chest which is a close coupled broad form that has well-sprung ribs. The width of the chest is deep but not too exaggerated. The four chest's extension doesn't extend beyond this dog's shoulder point. You can expect a firm and strong wide back. There is a slight downward croup to its tail base and short but wide loins. Meanwhile, bull terriers have a deep and wide chest but the chest's width must never go beyond the depth. The chest must also have sufficient room for organs such as the heart and lungs. Its four chest doesn't extend beyond the shoulder point. Starting from the spine, the ribs extend well back with a flattening form which gives it a deep body extending to the elbows. Firm and strong back and top line that has a slight downward incline from withers to its back, which is at a level height and muscular and broad. The loin is short and muscular. It is also a slight arch, which reaches the croup that's narrower in form when compared to the rib cage. There's also a slight downward slope to the croup. Behavior. Bull terriers are friendly and gentle behavior with tolerance for strangers and children. In addition to that, they have exuberance and zeal in life making this a perfect family companion dog. Pit bulls are also excellent family companion dog. Nevertheless, the majority of pit bulls have a particular level of canine aggressiveness that's coupled with a powerful physique. Its owner should train obedience into the dog and should train carefully to socialize as well. It's friendly to the strangers who make this unsuitable as guard dogs. Aside from that, pit bulls have a high intelligence level and good agility. Which is right and best for you. Maintenance, both bull terrier and pit bull are easy to maintain. Their grooming requirements aren't demanding and fit well for the owners who aren't willing to spend money and time on upkeep. Training, training pit bull is easier and is good for first-time owners or those who like dogs willing to listen and obey quickly. Owners require more perseverance and patience to train bull terrier and could require you to look for professionals who are knowledgeable of obedience training schools. Shedding, both pit bull and bull terrier shed moderately. Shedding is a typical process to lose damaged or old hair. Brushing will minimize shedding and make coats cleaner and softer. Watchdog ability, bull terrier is good whenever you are watching out for intruders. It barks and alerts owners of the act and presence of an intruder to protect and defend its family and owner. Exercise needs, pit bull requires more exercises. Thus, owners who are always home on a regular basis and enjoy exercising will have a good companion by their side during each of their fitness activities. Adaptability, bull terriers have better adaptability and may better alter and respond themselves to the environment. New dog owners, bull terriers are better suited for those who are new to owning dogs. With kids, both pit bull and bull terrier are great with children. They may grow up with them and be good family pets. By knowing the differences between pit bull and bull terrier is frequently important, particularly if somebody was deciding to breed or buy any of the mentioned breeds as well as not make mistakes of choosing the wrong breed. This distinction is essential for ABKC or American Bully Kennel Club, 
which classifies every breed correctly. No matter what breed you want to choose, the most important thing is that you should give your preferred dog lots of affection and love and care for physical health so it may fulfill its role as a companion dog. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching.